Uh, for 9a, you had that fencing problem and you had to set up the equation. You have to do so on this one as well, although this, one, this one's not as bad as uh, 9a was. So this one we have, we're given a cost function and a revenue function. They want us to find the amount of units that are sold in order to maximize the profit. So in order to do this, we have to first find the profit function. In order to do this, you want to make sure that you know this relationship, profit is equal to the revenue minus the cost. Okay, so revenue minus cost will give you the profit function. So in our case, uh, we're going to do P of X is equal to R of X minus C of X, the revenue function minus the, the cost function. So we have to find this first, uh, and then once we find the profit function, then we're going to apply the vertex formula like we did in 9A. So for this profit, you're going to do P of X is equal to revenue minus the cost. Your revenue is 12X minus 0.02X squared. We're subtracting the entire cost function. 680 plus 4X minus 0.01X squared. So all that's going to have to go inside the, uh, inside the parentheses. So once we have all this, we need to simplify it to get the profit function. So P of X, uh, we're going to distribute the minus sign through. So we're going to do 12X minus 0.02X squared minus 680 minus 4X plus 0.01X squared. So we have all this uh, distributed. So it's really important, again, that when you subtract the cost, the whole thing needs to be in parentheses or subtracting everything inside there. So now we're going to do, so P of X, we got to add the like terms together. So for this, we've got the negative 0.02 X squared and we're adding the 0.01 X squared. So these two are going to be added together. And so uh, when you do, you're going to get negative 0.01 X squared. Okay, so we have that uh, when we combine it. So if you take this term together, positive 0.01 and subtract negative 0.02, you get negative 0.01 uh, left over, and that's going to be the x squares. Next, we have a 12x minus 4x, that's 8x. Okay, so that takes care of those. The 680, we don't have any other like terms to combine that with, so we'll leave it like that. So this is going to be your profit equation that we're going to work with in this problem. So we had to do this work to get down to the profit function. And now that we have that, we need to apply the vertex formula, which is negative b over 2a. Okay, so we're going to, let's erase this so we get some space here. This is your profit function we'll leave on the bottom. That's the one that we're working with. Uh, so for this one, x is equal to negative b over 2a, uh, which in this case, your x is equal to negative 8, that's your b, your a is negative 0.01, your b is x. So we put negative 8 in there, 2 times a, which is what this is, let me make that look like an a. Uh, 2 times negative 0.01 we have down below. Okay, now here's one thing that you want to keep in mind when you put this into your calculator. If you put this bottom one into your calculator, you need to make sure you put a parenthesis around this number and that number when you put it in your calculator. If you don't, if you leave out those outside parentheses, you're going to get the wrong answer because your calculator is going to divide the wrong thing. If you're going to divide by the whole thing, make sure you put parentheses all around the entire bottom or you could multiply that together first and then divide them later. But if you're going to do it all in one step, you got to use those parentheses. When you put that into the calculator, uh, you should get 400 uh, units that's what it was asking for originally here. So units should be the answer uh, that we'll put on that. Okay, so now that we have that complete, that's part I. So now we want to do uh, double I. So double I asks you for what is the maximum profit. So what is the max profit? What you're going to do is you're going to take your answer that you got here, 400 units, and you're going to put it into this formula in place of all the x's. You're going to use the same profit formula that we had before, 
except that we just replaced the X's with 400, so we'll put that in here. It means everywhere you see an X, you replace it with uh, 400. So it's gonna look like this, 400 squared for that one. And then we have plus eight times 400, and we have a minus 680. So this uh, will actually give you the profit for the number of units that are produced, which is X. So putting that in, we're gonna put all that into the, uh, work that out in the calculator, and your profit's gonna be $920 if you work all that out. So the first part, we had to find the formula first and do negative B over 2A to get the answer 400 units. Second part for the profit, we just plug that number back in. That's our final answer, 920.